In terms of wildlife trafficking, there are two big sides to it. One, enforcement, which goes from actual poaching of the animal to the ports to its destination, and then also working on demand reduction, which is essentially changing consumers' behavior. So working to help to influence people to make different purchasing choices. It's not about just educating this is bad. It's about providing alternatives or pointing out um, issues that that are, are critical to address. In terms of working with NGOs to address the sort of the enforcement chain, quite often it's assessments that we work on, and then targeting capacity building. Um, and for, for addressing wildlife trafficking, it's anti-poaching, it's improving the forensic science, it's working with legislative reform, training prosecutors and judges so that the laws that are developed are enacted upon and adjudicated. Um, and NGOs play a critical role in identifying the issues, working with civil society, because in any place, civil society is a critical voice in making sure that the governments work effectively and for, for the interests of the country. Diplomacy with a little d. It's, it's really working on solutions that work for all parties. Anything is a negotiation, and so it needs to work for the organization, for the local government, national government and the local communities involved. And so a lot of it is figuring out what everyone's bottom line is and what is the solutions.